Okay, guys, back on the throttling, throttle body injection 193, Mission Impossible. This is cut 32. What I did is I changed our ramp angle even more, more similar to an L29, but not quite there yet. In fact, I don't know if I can do it because I finally started to show some thickness issues on uh, that ramp side. Uh, and the way the burr wants to go as you're moving that ramp, it wants to dig, it wants to dig this way, which can cause a problem. So working through that, if we take a look at our liquid, it seems to have moved a touch more over to the right, which kind of makes sense because we have, we have uh, more air coming through the center here at this point. Right, we have more air coming through this way. So I would think it's going to push our, our liquid this way. Remember, we got a swirl coming around this way, and now we have air coming through at this angle. So it's going to cause a lot of turbulence, which should be a good thing. Now, that's kind of interesting. I don't remember seeing that before. See these little runners of liquid coming up? And it does look like this is a bit higher than it was. In any case, you know what's it is interesting though. I had to do this with on a different range because I exceeded range number four. That would be a good thing, right? In any case, Changing ranges does change the speed of the motors. It also changes the, the orifice built into the bench. Our valve. Pretty darn good. Not bad at all. Let's take a look at our bore. Looks pretty good. Not much different than last time we saw it. Okay, looks pretty good. You can see it's definitely all moved over a little bit more to the right than it was. Not necessarily bad. Notice how much lower our, our ramp is at this point. All right, let's get a different view of that. Okay. Now you can see a couple things that I did. This wall itself has been moved quite a bit. Now it is interesting the way it was cast, right? This is like 120 thousandths here, which is, which is fine. 120 thousandths is no problem. But then it goes to like half an inch, 0.6 inch, but not all of it. So you do have to be careful. And the way the burr, right, as I'm moving this, let me see if I can demonstrate this. Okay. We were more of an angle like this before. Okay. And before that, it was even steeper. So I'm starting to turn this down from this position, more like three o'clock. It's not quite there. I don't even know if I can actually get there, to be honest. I may blow a hole in this first, but when I'm trying to move this over, the burr wants to dig into the wall that way, even if I use the smaller size burr. The other thing I did is I changed this ramp angle a little bit. Notice the clay's gone. I changed this ramp angle a little bit. I have them both. They're not exactly perfect in every way like Wiffy, but they're as similar as I could get with the uh, time constraints that I had. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get them both to meet up and exit like so, which is right about in the middle of our unshrouded part of our periphery of our valve. Okay, so as far as our liquid, we're still we're still pretty good. I mean, I kind of like a little bit less right next to the plug. I don't want a wet plug. That's that's not going to help. Okay, some a little some light powdering by the plug. I would think is is nice. Okay, so could we get more out of this the way it is? I don't know. Give me some input if you want me to touch this some more. Uh, actually, the last flows I did, I didn't even check the, the, the short side clay. I may have a hole there. It feels all right. So let's take a look at what our flows say. Okay, guys, I'm kind of rushing through this. GQ is going to stop by with those Magnum RT heads. 
and we're gonna uh, we're gonna goof around with them a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what I we're gonna do. I would love to pour it out an intake and exhaust in a chamber form and see what you can get out of them because they're a pretty nice design. But I think he wants to keep it more of a, a stock stock casting application. But in any case, the uh, the valves that it came with are all mismatched. So he's got to get a set of valves, or he has already bought a set of valves. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do, but we're going to fiddle with that. So I got I got to kind of run through this. Okay, 32, more roof, more ramp angle to center of cylinder. This was a ramp cut change angle. How'd we do? Well, plus, 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 plus to 600. 600, we have a slight loss. 700, we have a slight loss. 800, we have a slight loss. 900, we have a slight increase. So right at our peak, we did lose a bit. Now, you guys can give me your input. I mean, take a look at 300, right? We got a small increase, small increase, decent increase at 200, decent increase at 0.15. All right, these aren't these aren't bad. And remember, we see all these numbers twice. We only see, see these numbers once. As far as our swirls, these num these numbers are in reference to these numbers, these pluses and minuses. We got minus equals plus, minus, 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 plus, plus, minus, minus. It's very interesting what the swirl is doing. Now you would think it would kick the whole curve down, but it doesn't it doesn't do that really. I mean, it's hit or miss. In any case, we have plenty to get done what we need to do. There's not that much difference between these guys, so I wouldn't really sweat it. In any case, let's take a look at our... Uh, you know what I should say? When I put a flow ball on this, it went over 314.5. So, uh, having that short side knocked down too low probably is hurting us. That's where we're probably starting to get our issue right around the higher lift flows, which makes sense. In any case, somebody keeps asking me to uh, epoxy the floor. Give it more of a short side radius. It's not a bad idea. I've been thinking about it for a while, but I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not. In any case, the, 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 the original setup of the the project was to run nine seconds in a relatively light chassis with these junk heads. You guys have to let me know if we are there, if we can, somebody can do a, a, a sim on this. I'm not ready to do a simulation on this yet. Let's take a look at our airspeeds. Okay, top one is our 31st cut, bottom one is our 32nd cut. How'd we do on our pinch? Pinch is the same size, same lift. Minus plus minus. Notice how close they are. Pinch is working quite well the way it is. Okay. Does that mean it's not holding us back up here? Well, it probably is. I remember I could take more metal out of the divided wall between the two cylinders. Because we are... Remember, this is... It's right around 300 at 0.6. When I start to crank it up more and it exceeds 300 CFM, that speed goes up. Something to think about. It's not that big a deal. Okay, how'd we do on our roof? The roof actually picked up. The roof liked it. How'd we do on our short side? Minus plus minus. Pretty close. These weren't bad either as far as speeds. Okay. As a matter of fact, the way this looks right now, this port's pretty happy where it is. Pretty happy. All righty. What am I going to do next? I don't really know. Give me some input on this. This will... I'm recording this. New Year's Eve. Happy New Year, guys. Enjoy yourself. Don't play with amateur night. Uh, I will be back at it bright and early January 1st because I'll feel like a million bucks. Guess why? Because I'm too weak to drink. That's why. <laughs> It's not worth it to me. I, if I have a couple of drinks, I'll lose like two days. I don't have two days to lose. So keep that in mind. Time is valuable. Enjoy yourself. Thanks for hanging out with us. With us. 
with all of us. We're all uh, an interesting community. Uh, hopefully you guys seek medical attention next the upcoming year. You have serious mental issues, but I'm good with that. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night, guys.